In this video, I'll show you how to insert photos and images into your posts and pages. To get started, I'll select the All Posts subpanel and then choose an existing post to edit. Now, let's insert a photo to help give this page a little more visual interest. To insert an image, first, we'll place the cursor at the location within the post where we want the image to appear. Next, click the Add Media button to open the drag and drop multi file uploader. We're given a few options here. We can upload a new image file from our computer or choose from other files we've already uploaded in the media library. We can also create a photo gallery, which I'll show you in just a minute. Select a featured image for this post, or even paste a URL to use an image from another site elsewhere on the web. For now, I'll just upload a file from my computer. On my desktop, I have a JPEG image that I'd like to add to this article. So I'll simply drag the image file into the Dropbox and the uploader will automatically upload the image from my computer's hard drive to the web server that hosts this site. When it's done uploading, you can edit the title, add a caption which will appear directly underneath the image, and enter an alternative text description for folks who have images disabled in their browser. Now, we can choose to align this image to the left side of our page, which will cause the body text to wrap around the right side of the image, in the center, or to the right, which will flow text around the left side of our image. I'll choose right. We can also make this image a link, so that when folks click on it, they'll be taken to a destination of our choice. We can link to the full-size version of the image file, or choose to view the image on its own separate page or we can actually enter a custom URL. For example, we could have this photo linked to acme.com so that when a visitor clicks on the photo, they'll be taken to that website. But for now, I'll just choose media file, which will take them to the full size version of this image. And last, we can choose which size image we'd like to use in the post. Every time you upload an image, WordPress automatically creates a thumbnail, medium, large, and full-sized version of your image file. For now, I'll select the medium size and then click Insert into Post. All right, here's our image aligned to the right of our post. And because we gave this image a caption, you can see that just underneath the image. You can easily edit the caption if you like. Now, this image is a little too large, so I'll select the image and then click and drag one of the corner handles holding down the shift key to ensure that the image is scaling proportionately. We can also edit the details for this image by clicking the edit button in the top left hand corner. In this panel, we can edit the caption and the alt text, choose a different alignment, and change the link for this image. You can also edit the original image or replace it altogether with another image you've uploaded to the media library or a new image that you upload here. This makes it easy to update and replace images down the road. The image editor provides simple editing tools that enable you to crop, rotate, or flip an image. And of course, you can undo and redo your changes. You can proportionately scale the original image by simply entering a new dimension in pixels and WordPress will automatically adjust the other value to maintain the original proportions of the image. After you've made changes, you can restore the original image at any time, removing any edits that you might have made. You can also specify the crop selection aspect ratio and then hold down the shift key while dragging your cursor to maintain this ratio. You can reposition the crop area or drag the handles to adjust the selection. And then when you're happy with your selection, click the crop icon to apply this edit. When you're done, click the save button and then update. And now the newly cropped image appears in our post. And if we preview this post, we can see the new image in place, and when our visitors click this image, they'll be taken to the full-sized version in a new tab or window in their browser. In addition to adding individual images, you can also insert a photo gallery, a collection of several images within your posts and pages.
Now, we could click the Add Media button again to open the multi-file uploader like we did earlier. But you can also simply drag images from your desktop and drop them directly on the editor window to begin the uploading process. With our images now uploaded, I'll click Create Gallery and then filter the list to show just those images that have been uploaded to this post. You can edit the titles, captions, and other details for each image in the Attachment Details panel on the right-hand side, and your changes will be saved in real time. When you're finished editing the details for each individual image, click the button to create a new gallery with the selected images. Here, you can easily reverse the order of the images, or simply drag and drop them into the order you prefer. Next, under Gallery Settings, I'll choose to link the individual thumbnails to the full-sized version of each image file. You can also choose the number of columns your gallery will use to display the thumbnails, and when you're happy with these settings, click the Insert Gallery button. Now you can see what your gallery will look like in place, and you can edit the gallery settings at any time by clicking the Edit button in the top left-hand corner of the gallery preview. Before publishing, you might preview your post with the photo gallery in place and then make any changes you like. As you can see, WordPress makes it really easy to add images to your posts and pages, making your content even more compelling.